Hey guys, welcome back to the channel once again. My name is Whitney, if you haven't been here before. If you're new here, thank you for tuning in. This is an, an un, 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 uh, un, a fortunate? Oh my god, I can't speak right now. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna skip that part. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in. This is... A sad first video for you and for me because I hate doing things like this and but we're here now so if you see me looking down I just put some uh, point form notes on my laptop down here and if you see the camera shifting Dakota is literally right by my feet so if he kicks the the tripod I am sorry and there goes latte the turbo kit I got it was not brand new um, I got it used okay that was probably my first mistake I got the full-blown Motorsports Stage 1 Premium Turbo Kit off a guy, actually a guy who owns a shop in Quebec. So, yeah, to be honest, I probably, this is probably my fault after, you know, like, if I'm spending so much money on something, I might as well go see it, but this wasn't the case. I trusted, I trust everyone, you know, um, I saw pictures of the Turbo Kit on the car, and I didn't... I guess I didn't think anything of it, so yeah. So just a backstory that it came off a BRZ with a hood exit. So what I'm gonna do with this video is I'm gonna go through all the parts that actually came in the box. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. And, and then when we get to that part where what frustrates me, I'll talk about it, but I'm just gonna go through everything that I actually did get. Okay, so I'm gonna... What? Okay. okay. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the full-blown intercooler. This is a pretty large and hefty one. Oops, sorry. And this is the black... Actually, they're all black. So, the intercooler piping with the clamp and uh, the TLQ50 blow-off valve. Another intercooler piping. Another one, and another one, which with a bunch of clamps. We have a K&N air filter. We have a turbo sleeve that... <laughs> wow. We have a turbo sleeve that is really beat up, and that's basically shedding everywhere. I'll probably end up getting a new one. A reducing coupling by Full Blown. An oil drain with AN fittings. Ugh, okay. The boost controller. And then we have one gasket. Keep in mind, there's only one. Okay, he sent one gasket. We have braided coolant lines. Okay, this is the header. It has the precision external wastegate here, as well as a dump tube. The final thing that came in this box. This was the problem. <sighs> Sorry, it's really heavy. Okay, so we have the turbo here with a downpipe, okay? Um, in this case where he used it to have a hood, he bleh, a hood exit. It comes with two O2 sensors right here. He welded the downpipe to the turbo and he didn't care to even mention that to me. Mind you that he had a lot of opportunities to mention that because honestly if I knew that I probably wouldn't have got it for the price I got it for. He basically welded the downpipe to the exhaust housing. I don't know who does that, apparently he did. So I was under the impression that all I would have to do is just get a new downpipe and I'm good. But turns out it doesn't even matter if I get a new downpipe or not, either way I'd have to cut and weld it at that point. Or what I can do is get a new exhaust housing and downpipe and do it the proper way, but doing that will cost me like another $2,000, so. I've done a lot of thinking about this and I'm like, why, why would someone weld this? I guess the only reason why someone would weld it together is because of the heat and the vibrations. The bolts can, I guess, commonly come loose, which cause it to leak. So I guess the easy solution is to just weld it together. So I feel like there's just so many other options that you can do rather than 
welding the whole thing to it. Uh, for example, using the wire method or using a turbo nut lock or even welding the bolts to the flange. Like I feel like all those methods are so much better than just doing this. I feel like this is just the lazy route. And how are you going to service this thing? Like you're literally going to have to pull out the whole turbo and the downpipe together. Like, and I also came up with some points on why you don't weld it. Okay, well, I am not a mechanic here, but but there's just some things where just things just don't make sense, if you know what I mean. So, basically, if this is welded, it could damage the turbo by cracking the housing and hot shavings can get into the turbine. Like I said, it's more challenging Blah. more challenging blah. more challenging to service if you ever have to pull this out like I said you got to pull out the whole thing and lastly and above all I think it is very unprofessional and I feel like there's a reason why manufacturers don't do this in the first place um, especially since I bought it from a quote-unquote shop they they were very dishonest okay I'm just saying because because this is this is up like like after seeing this, once I got this in the mail, like my, my heart literally sunk and it was just okay? But I'm not done with the whole story. Let me tell you how amazing this guy's customer service is. This situation is not, I guess, closed yet because I'm still dealing with it. So if you guys want a part two of how this whole situation ends, make sure to let me know. So all the photos that he provided me, the turbo blanket was on top of the turbo, so there was no way of me actually knowing that it was welded. I asked for a photo of all the parts once the parts have been taken off the car. And then the next day he comes back and he's like, my lead mechanic forgot to take the photos. And then at that point, I'm just so trusting. I'm just like, okay, you know what? Don't worry about it. I trust you. So the next thing is I asked him if it came with the flange. Mind you, I asked this multiple of times in the conversation. He said that I would get it. So at this point, when I'm asking about the flange for the downpipe, this was a perfect chance for him to tell me that it was welded. So even if I had the flange, there's no point. I guess no point because he welded it. So there's no use for me to even have the flange. And what he did was he kept insisting that my fab shop would just make me a new downpipe. Okay, that's cool. That's no problem. But even if I get a new downpipe, there's no flange. Like, there's no flange. He said he would include one and there's no flange. <sighs> like the whole conversation with him is just the way he portrayed this whole kit was, was very simple. It's a bolt on kit. You have everything. That's it. Okay. Mind you, he did not include everything, basically, that was part of the kit. Look, let, let me list you the things that were not in the box that was sent. I actually wrote it down so I made sure I don't forget, okay? So, the missing items were two flanges, an oil drain fitting, two header gaskets, two fans, an oil pan, and the engine side, and the engine side oil feeding fitting. Okay? Which is this. Okay, what am I gonna use to fit this? My hopes and dreams? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me, you know? And oh, 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 okay, 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 listen, 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 okay? So, and more things that were missing was I was promised a tuned ECU as well as 1000cc injectors, okay? Those were not in the box, so I immediately messaged him and I was like, these things weren't here and he says he mailed them separately and would come mid next week and by the time you're watching this that's this was last week okay and it's still not here and i kept messaging him and i'm like and i was very polite you know like i like i'm i do not like confrontation i do not like to be angry but at this point i was just frustrated and i just wanted answers like quickly so because literally i, I was losing sleep over this like i would I would not be able to sleep till like 2 a.m. because I'd be so worried that that I basically got so fucked over. Okay, so he still didn't reply to this day I'm making this video, just so you know. I'm just p politely, okay, just asking if there's an ETA or an update or a tracking or because he claimed that he sent it. 
okay, cool, okay, I'm patient, I'm waiting. And then it just got to the point where I, I was just like, hey, I'm just gonna DM them on Instagram. I don't know if he was the one who ran that page, but apparently not, I messaged them. A kind message, okay, and the gentleman or woman that DM'd me back was very nice. He said that the guy I spoke to is on vacation. Okay, that's cool. And then he claimed that the box of my, I, I'm assuming my ECU and injectors are in there. So the reason why he sent them separately is because they're easily damageable, which makes sense, which I appreciate. Okay, so that box has not shipped out yet and I DM'd him yesterday. So I, I guess I'm waiting on that. So like I said, this whole story is not complete yet. I know it is, I guess, it's my fault for just diving into this, just headstrong, but I feel like as a shop owner, you just kind of have to own up to your mistakes, I guess. Being dishonest is definitely not the way to go. I have never dealt with customer service like this, even though it's used, okay, that's cool, but at least be honest of what I'm getting in the box and at least this whole welding thing, this is a really big issue. Like, well, it's a big issue to me because I'm I'm building a show car and this was gonna be basically the finishing thing. And the fact that I just spent so much money on this and now I gotta spend extra money to get this fixed. When I didn't ask for this, okay? I went into this thinking that, like he claimed that it was perfect, great. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna call him out in this video but I'm hoping that he can make this right. But I'm just stating my experience because this is just really, really frustrating because I was so excited to get this. And yes, I got most of the items, but there's just other items that are missing, which I'll now have to, on my own time, get those items that I did not get, but I was promised. <sighs> like, it's just so frustrating and saddening like <sighs> mind you when i told him before i got this turbo i i asked him how i would pay okay and basically as any business would they would take payment and then they would ship okay that's fine i mentioned to him that you know i've previously been scammed because i don't learn my lesson apparently you know and he's like I sell $14,000 exhaust daily. Why would I scam you off XXX dollars? And then at that point, I'm like, okay, if someone makes that big of a claim, okay, no problem, okay? So, so yeah, I guess, I guess this whole thing comes, if, when it comes down to it, it's my fault. I should have been more firm and I should have asked more questions, more photos, I guess. I, I just got too excited because I'm just naive and I just want things. I want things yesterday. When I want things, I literally want it in my hand literally last week. That's just how I am. But now I've learned my lesson or at least not get things from Montreal. I mean, I got most, I guess I got most of my things, but everything is just not in that great of a condition, which again, I, it's used, I get it, it's my fault. But it's just so unfortunate, you know, like I was just I was so excited to get this like once I got it I was like, that's it. My build's complete after all the things that I'm gonna be doing in the winter All done and then this happened. So I got to deal with this. So I guess I deserve it Well, I am going to end this video here. I definitely would not have bought this whole thing for this price if I knew I was not getting the whole kit like he claimed and this welding situation. So I'm just, I'm not trying to be difficult. I just, I just want him to do what's right, especially coming from a, from a business owner, I guess. So yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. By, by no means am I claiming I'm a professional on all this because I definitely am not. I'm still learning as I go, but I don't think this is right. Just, you know, you don't, you just don't, you just don't do this, okay? And especially being dishonest. I hate people that are dishonest. Thank you. Make sure to like and comment. 
what you think of this whole situation. I know I'm stupid. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. My dirty hands. You see my dirty hands? <laughs>